Hey, hey, back again in my studio. Um, I'm working on some remixes at the moment, and uh, this is one of them that I made this afternoon. Uh, I haven't even saved it yet. <laughs> well, I've saved it, but I haven't named it or anything. Um, I started out with this, which I'm sure you'll recognize. <laughs> I'm not going to play too much of that because I'll probably get busted on YouTube. Um, that's Cream by Prince. Um, what I've done to it is pretty much just slowed it down so it sounds and like changed the pitch of it. So now it sounds like this. And it's just looping on a 16 um, step bar. Um, I did have it before, uh, as I can show you, um, doing the full four bars. And I might, I might do that uh, when I record it in and actually um, edit it and stuff. Um, but for the moment. I'm just going to keep it at 16 um, <clears throat> because I've blended it with a Kendrick Lamar song, just a little snippet of it, which I will. What am I doing? Um, this is the snippet. I see the feeling of freedom. I see the feeling of freedom. It's got a bit of a comb filter running on it as well, which is why it sounds a bit metallic. Uh, it's from uh, Swimming Pools. Um, great track. Love that track. Um, and I've just sort of chopped a little bit out of it, and that's, and I've sort of multi-tracked it, so there are two parts, one of them's lower than the other one, um, and it together, or just alone, I'll just play it, sounds like this. I see the feeling of freedom, I see the feeling of freedom, I see the feeling But together with the other one. I see the feeling of freedom. Which is pretty sweet, I think. Um, and together with the other bit. And I've added um, <clears throat> a synth part which just up here I've got the System 1M uh, and that's playing this. I mean you can almost not even hear Cream anymore. <laughs> it's in there though, it's definitely in there. Um, and the other thing I've added, which I'll just mute all this stuff, is another chunk of Cream over here. Um, which when you mix it with the original part sounds pretty sweet. I think that sounds cool. Um, but you might be wondering why I've got the Digitact over here, and it is providing some beats, um, some extra beats, because you can already hear there's a lot of beats going on in there. Um, these are kind of just like a, a kick drum, a bit of a hi-hat, like a sort of rolling hi-hat, um, and a, a little snappy uh, kick and snare sort of deal that's going on as well. Um, so I'll just mute all of this and we can hear that isolated. Oh, it's all muted. Now, I have to admit, that's not completely raw. I've got that going through the analog heat, which I'll just twist this over here. Um, <clears throat> without it, it sounds like this. Which I still think it sounds pretty uh, thick and juicy, um, as I want things to sound. But, uh, I've got some just, I've got a lot of drive happening, I've got uh, on the enhancement circuit, um, 
I've got to say, recently I've just had the the analog heat, just the uh, sorry, the Digitech just running into the heat at all times, and I just mostly have just been putting it on clean boost and just giving it some drive because it just thickens everything up and makes it sound really nice. I haven't really been using it as a creative tool recently, and when you do though, it's just it's awesome. I mean, like listen to. This. <laughs> So, I mean, you can hear that sounds pretty rad. Um, but the, the problem I find with the heat <clears throat> is that I feel like if you're going to use it creatively, you actually have to make that decision early on, I'm going to use the heat on this. I mean, like, you don't have to, of course, like, that's not a, a rule, but I just find it works better for me that way. Like, if I, if I go into a recording process being like, oh, I'm going to, like, process the shit out of this drum loop, or I'm going to process the shit out of this synth line with the, with the heat, then you get some cool results. But if you sort of just be like, oh, I've made this cool beat, it sounds cool, uh, I really like the way this beat sounds, oh, maybe I should add some heat to it, then you, you find that you just, you lose your original idea because it turns into something else. Like, this thing just transforms it. Unless you've just got it on clean boost, maybe enhanced more saturation. They're quite, this is like the low end um, processing, like they, I don't know why I said low end, but they, they, they don't fuck with it quite as much as these other ones over here. Mid drive I pretty much never use. Like, I feel like that's mainly for like guitar or something like that. I just feel like it just drops out heaps of the bottom end and um, I just don't really like it that much. These three I've got to say, are honestly, probably my favourites. Because <laughs> these ones are just so dramatic. Um, they are amazing and like round fuzz is particularly special. Uh, I'll just I'll just flick over to that and just let's just have a listen to how it sounds. <laughs> Let that fade out. I'm just gonna take out the hi hats because they're they they're just crowding everything. So if we've just got the kicks and the snares and stuff, um, let's have a listen to that. And how about we put it on classic distortion, or maybe saturation. So, I mean, it, it sounds rad. Uh, I had it on Enhancement. So, anyway. Um, I'm going to record it in on Enhancement with the settings it's got right now. Um, because I just think it, it gives it this sort of, like... Gives it something real nice, uh, real crunch. Um, so that's cool. Uh, you're probably wondering what all this is going to sound like together. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to do a really quick jam to play this out. Uh, I might even put that jam at the start of the video <laughs> because I feel like people are going to be way more interested to watch the rest of the video if they see something uh, interesting right up front. Um, so yeah, I'm going to do that right now. So I hope you enjoyed this quick little demo. Having real, having a lot of fun making remixes at the moment. Um, <clears throat> you might have seen some of my other videos on Instagram and stuff like that with uh, remixes. Um, I'm going to be releasing a remix album uh, as soon as it's finished. I've already got a few under my belt, um, but I want to. I want it to be sort of chock full of bangers. Uh, <laughs> so anyway. Um, I'm just going to do this on the fly, see what happens. See you later.